Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Moconaman at YouTube with another model video. Today, after uh, two years of uh, putting it off, we'll be reviewing and playing with the US Gadget Durable Z041 Ultrasonic Cutter. Now, this is a very small standard hobby blade uh, hooked up to a special uh, vibrating unit that uh, through the use of uh, multiple vibrations a second cuts through uh, materials such as uh, plastic and other soft uh, bits and pieces quite smoothly and through the very tip of the blade able to achieve some very very fine cuts now this is an extremely expensive uh, piece of kit uh, this is a special boxing that I bought in Japan, uh, I believe it's a Yodabashi uh, camera. And with a uh, heavy import uh, discount, I got it for $400, which is uh, very cheap. Uh, they've got an upgraded version of this uh, at the moment. In Australia, it's sold by Hobbyco. Uh, everywhere else, you can get it through Amazon, uh, eBay. And they have a very uh, hefty lifetime warranty so this isn't its original box conditions it does have uh, cutouts and whatnot though you've got your unit here with a low and high power uh, module and this is the handle that you hold with the blade it's sort of like a standard size 11 or 9 I don't quite remember uh, XL series blade uh, Tamir also does it so it is very easily bought and the kit also comes with uh, multiple uh, inserts as well as uh, hex nuts and another uh, hex key. If it's all lost, you can easily buy it uh, from the manufacturer US Gadget uh, in Japan. You're also given a variable uh, dual power supply and this will do 110, 240, earth and whatnot. Uh, this is the little pack that comes with uh, ample amounts of uh, blades and I'm uh, not even a tenth way through. The boxing I've received comes with uh, instructions all in Japanese. Uh, there is ample amount of uh, pictures to help you out. Uh, that's all of your components and parts as well as a comic uh, describing its use it also comes with a bit of uh, character art and whatnot now a few notes about this the most important component is the vibrating unit the oscillator that's uh, right inside of uh, the handle now a few notes about its uh, use is you've got to have it cutting at all times as soon as you stop cutting uh, you push the button. This is a standby button when you have it powered. When you put it on, it's uh, vibrating. It'll have a high frequency sound. Not very good for recording, so I'll have a uh, verbal commentary over, over it. Uh, animals also seem not to like it, so don't do it uh, near caged birds, birds or uh, cats or anything like that. Occasionally, once you have it on for way too long, you'll have to use a standard uh, Phillips head screwdriver, a cracker open and readjust uh, the cardboard packer, uh, the main um, base and adapter as well as the oscillator inside. So here's it cracked open, you can see the oscillator attached to uh, the main base. That could get a bit loose and requires to be uh, slightly adjusted. Be mindful not to crush the wires or you'll have quite a bit of a repair job and the button does like to fall out so that's just uh, something to be careful about when fixing it. We'll explain in a minute only when and why you would have to pull it apart. Now inside the head is the aluminium chuck. There's a cut down the center that takes the blade, a little bit of a dimple and the screw with um, a hex hole that you use the supplied allen key to attach. Uh, you do not have to tighten as everything is aluminium and could easily thread so be careful. Now just for quick evidence uh, for those that are worried about power requirements I can confirm that this can work in almost any country 
the power supply comes with a jug plug or IEC socket and you could just get um, any one very cheap and I've uh, well not brought it I just found it laying around the house that provides uh, for my use now the power indicates uh, how much uh, power is going to the oscillator it doesn't really makes it cut faster stronger or anything I am concerned due to the price of the oscillator that I choose to keep it normal in case of uh, power fluctuation or uh, faults and it should uh, last a lot longer I also confirmed that on the normal setting it uh, cuts perfectly fine for most hobby jobs uh, once uh, the button is on you can go for it this is the only time I'll probably film it uh, working now the light goes on it's uh, cutting away now if you let it cut for far too long without cutting anything the sound will cut off and there's some sort of uh, vibration or uh, protection that kicks in and this will uh, start to flash doesn't mean that your unit is uh, broken when it's new it can cut freely or it could be on freely without cutting for a lot longer and as time gets on this uh, time factor shortens I've uh, adjusted it so I could at least have uh, three to five seconds as soon as I turn it on I dive it straight into some uh, material and to reset it from this fault it's as simple as turning it off on again and you're able to start cutting all over again. I've just played back the audio and it was a terrible crunching crashing sound. At first it's absolutely silent. Uh, the camera does pick up on it still. After a while you get sort of almost like a, a buzzing like a fly or a bee or uh, whatnot. When it cuts its material it's far more quiet. Here we're looking at a selection of uh, parts including styrene plate, shield arms and whatnot. The plate is 1mm thick and uh, it just does a really quick easy glide. You do not have to cut all the way through. Uh, the longer that the knife stays stationary it's going to heat up and melt or uh, vibrate the parts away causing distortion. So do a, a quick slit across snap in half and you can sand the two surfaces moving on to the shield uh, we initially had a little problems it is ABS very very strong plastic unlike uh, styrene which would be working with most of the time the blade became too blunt we swapped the blades out surprisingly the blades do blunten very quickly though the packs do come in uh, 30 so that's not too much of a problem or 100 once we got uh, an it takes a lot of practice to do these cuts. Uh, initially I had a little trouble doing it on uh, camera as I require a lot of uh, focus. You need to get uh, the right proportion of the tip, uh, the very top, to course a line. And once you're able to uh, slice in smoothly, you can cut throughout the part. And we did a very, very clean cut through the very bottom of uh, the shield. Slight amount of uh, under a millimeter of distortion. A little bit of sanding can fix that. Moving on to the arm, we were able to, on this no grade, separate the hand, separate the uh, joints at the elbow so there could be uh, articulation, movement, whatnot. Though you can also separate the uh, skirt armor and we removed that little bit of um, edged or multi-directional seam line without any uh, heartache and that can also be uh, cleaned up. The last one which is the most impressive to me is cutting a hole in the middle of something as quick as it did. Again the edges can be slightly crooked it all goes down to uh, practice of the use of this it took me a long time until I could get some uh, decent cuts uh, going though using a hobby knife and a bit of sandpaper you can clean up that square and have open panels in your kits now this is an example of an object I've uh, did quite a bit of cutting with the ultrasonic cutter so we've got these two little thin cutouts at the very top though the bottom you can see there's quite a bit of a symmetrical intricate cutting and cutting in the uh, center of uh, the piece. This is probably some of the finer work you can get away with and due to the sheer speed that you can glide through material or chop up parts 
and slice very fine mechanical detail off scrap kits and glue it onto an existing kit. We've got like one piece here that's been heavily uh, modified with the knife. Again, this tool has a lot of limitations, though it also has a lot of possibilities. It's just working to the most top tip of the blade, coursing the material, and then diving in deep. It could go very smooth. Once you have uh, resistance, your blade is either too blunt or you're going in at the wrong angle. Unfortunately, I have not been able to do uh, the best cuts I could on uh, camera, though I have done uh, quite a bit of models once I had full concentration and was able to focus with the uh, tool. Turning it on just as you touch the material and then carving through, turning it off as soon as you're done will make sure that the oscillator will uh, survive for a very, very long time. In the end, it is just a tool which you'll have a large repertoire for those who scratch build. If you are very keen at scratch building, kit bashing, pulling apart multiple kits in multiple fashions and putting it back together uh, with uh, putty and sanding and glue, this may be the tool for you if it is within your budget. Uh, for those who do a lot of straight building and just looking for cleaning up uh, nubs or uh, working with resin or other things, maybe not the best for you. It does struggle with very solid uh, material. Uh, it's something just uh, has to be kept in mind. Now, the US Gadget is an older machine, and there are a few newer models um, appearing, both by uh, US Gadget that's updated, though I'm also keeping an eye on a Kickstarter model which is substantially cheaper and shall be uh, ready for release fairly shortly. Once I have my hands on that, that will uh, also be on uh, review, though it will just be such a more affordable option and a far smaller unit with a, a battery. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. I hope this was uh, very useful and it gave you um, a bit of an insight on how this works. It is a fun and fantastic uh, tool to use on styrene. It uh, does struggle on other materials such as uh, ABS. All the material I did my cutting was ABS. Though once you have a... Uh, hang on the angle of uh, the cuts, uh, ABS and stronger plastics such as resin should not be an issue whatsoever. Catch you guys next time. Hello, just a quick uh, supplementary bit of uh, information. The Tamir branded design knife shares the exact same blade with this uh, product to its uh, dimensions and sharpness. If you were to purchase the Tamir Craft Tools 74 replacement blade set, which only retails approximately uh, two dollars or uh, less than 200 yen, you get 30 blades, and that's about uh, the same quantity as uh, packed with uh, the ultrasonic knife. Stocking up on enough of these, you'll never have to worry about uh, overusing a blade and uh, the cost of getting them from US Gadget.